here's the third part of leave it. So if you've been practicing the last couple of weeks, just as a quick refresher, we've got leave it. I'm waiting for him to, he's looking at my hand. Captain knows leave it means to look up at my face. So I'm gonna put my treat behind my back. Yes, there we go. So active disinterest for Captain is actively looking at me in the eyes. That is not necessarily what you guys have to do. I think we talked about that in the first one, that there are some dogs where this kind of contact is really, uh, has a lot of pressure, um, can make a lot of dogs uncomfortable, but Captain is perfectly willing to look at me in the eyes. So if I go, leave it, he's starving. He hasn't had food, so he's looking at my hand. I'm waiting for him to look me in the eye. Yes, good boy. Leave it, yes. And then we did this, leave it. Yes, good boy. So once you've been practicing and warming your dog up with those easier exercises, we're gonna move on to the third step, which is dropping it from a height. So when we're dropping it from a height, we're playing with distance and difficulty and distraction. Because as soon as this thing starts to move, the dog has to stay in position. I'm going to be adding a distraction and I'm, I'm further from the treat. And as I get better at it, I might even be further from the dog. So for now, I'm going to say leave it before I throw the food. And that's to try to get ahead of their brain. Like as soon as they see this fall, most dogs are... <laughs> are you gonna get the lesson? Most dogs, if I drop this, as soon as this moves, they're going to jump for it. Um, I want to get in his head beforehand, leave it, and then drop this thing. Leave it. Yes. And you saw his head came back to me. Now, if he had gone for it, I'm not going to tell him to leave it here. I just want to see if he'll go for it. If he does, I'm going to use my foot to cover this treat. Remember, I'm using cheese and not a, a round rolly thing because those tend to always take a bad bounce right into the dog's mouth, which is not what I want them to do. So I'm going to drop this from a height. If you were to go for it, I'm gonna cover it here and when I get that active disinterest, yes and treat here. The reason I'm not trying to cover it with my hand, there are two reasons. One, he's faster than I am on the ground. So if I were to drop this and try to cover it here, he's already gotten the treat. The other thing is, good job. I work with a lot of dogs who are not really comfortable with the idea of me being between them and the thing they want. Um, and if I'm working particularly with a resource guarding dog, the last place I want my face is here between the dog and the thing they want. So instead, when I drop it, if he were to go for it, I'm just going to cover it with my foot. Once I, if he paws at it or whatever, I can step down. When he's all done and he kind of backs himself up and he's looking up at me, that's when I'm yesing and treating the dog. And I know we don't really have access to a, a more frisky dog who hasn't been trained on this to really illustrate it. I'll see if I can find some videos online. Um, but for now, practice with these things. If you're struggling with it, I get it. Send me a video back and that way I can kind of talk you through it or we can go through Google Hangout or whatever we need to do so you can have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, attention to help get you through this because this is one of the harder concepts to get especially if you have a more um, bitey dog or a more frisky dog or one that really doesn't have the impulse control yet. Um, Captain used to be there, he's five now, um, and he's been with us since he was about 15 months old. So I've been working with him a lot on this. Um, this is not going to look like what you guys are dealing with at home and I totally get that and I appreciate that. Um, so let me know if you need any help and we will, we'll get you there, don't worry about it. 